I'm Natasha, I'm 14, and I have a voice. And in this video, I'm going to be using my voice. I'm mad. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off that we have issues in our country and issues worldwide that can be fixed so easily but receive little attention. There's a countless amount of things that need to be fixed, no doubt about it. The topic I'm focusing on in this video though is smoking. Smoking is ridiculous. I've always been someone who's been against smoking, but after a recent event that took place, I have zero tolerance. None at all. Smoking is all negative. Nothing good comes from it. It kills the person smoking, people around the person smoking, and our planet. Not only does it put the person smoking at risk, it puts everyone at risk, including animals. Now banning smoking completely isn't realistic. I understand that part of our economy is reliant on the production of tobacco products, but I think we should at least make an effort to make the regulations stricter. I don't mean raising the legal age for purchasing cigarettes and other tobacco products because quite frankly that has little effect on the amount of underage smokers. I think other directives need to be put into place. I have ideas that I would love to see fall into place in the near future, so I'm going to be sharing them with you. Most of these apply to adults. Number one, if you're pregnant, you should not be permitted to smoke. This needs to happen for obvious reasons. You would be harming your child before they've even been born. And the worst part is, they can't stop you. A child that's still in the womb can't tell you that you're hurting them, and it's not fair. Number two, if you have a child or children that are under 18 in your household, you should not be able to keep tobacco in your home. It's so easy for children to access tobacco when it's simply kept at home. How do you think kids get a hold of guns? Their parents keep them at home. By keeping tobacco out of the home, children will not be able to access it as easily. This will definitely lower the amount of underage smokers in our state and hopefully one day the entire country. Number three, if you live with a child or children under the age of 18 or any pets, you should not be able to smoke inside of your home. You should go to a designated smoking area or an area that's a safe distance away from your home and others' homes as well. Pets can get cancer from living with an owner that smokes or living near someone who smokes. As for children under the age of 18, it's not fair. It would be a misdemeanor for them to leave home without permission, so they have no choice but to stay in a smoke-filled environment. Exposure to that much secondhand smoke can harm the child as much as it's harming the smoker. It's not fair to children that have no choice but to stay in their home. So those are my ideas. I know there are going to be a lot of people that are going to disagree with me, and I am ready to hear it. This is a very controversial topic, and everyone is allowed to have opinions. This is just me sharing mine. Now when you click away from this video, I don't want you to think about what you can do. I want you to do what you can do. So many people are affected by this situation, but no one is doing anything about it. I'm sending this video to my state senator along with an email because I want to see changes. Don't ever think that your age can stop you from making a difference. Your age does not determine what you're capable of doing. I would only hope that you would make mature decisions for your age. So if you agree with me or anything I said in this video, share it. Share the message, share this video, email your state senator. If you don't feel like typing up a message, send this video to your state senator. That's totally fine. The whole point is that attention is driven to this topic so change can be made. Now this is a very serious topic so immature comments will not be tolerated. Please watch what you say because I will be deleting comments that are unnecessary. Having a discussion is completely fine. Thank you for watching, and Senator, if you're watching, I hope you'll consider some of my ideas. I'm very serious about this topic and wouldn't mind being an advocate and meeting with you about this. If there's an issue with any of these ideas, I would love to discuss them and potentially come to a solution. My contact email is in the description below for anyone that has questions or for you, Senator. Thank you.